Hi guys, another one of my bargain store projects. Picked this up the other day in my local bargain store. I think that one was actually called Pound World. Um, not quite sure how it works. It says reverse beeper emits a warning beep when backing up. Just stick and go, no wiring. Activated automatically by the glow from the reverse lights. So I'm guessing that there's a, a light sensitive resistor in there. LDR, light detecting resistor. Um, <coughs> which detects when a light shines on it. Uh, so let's open it and see what we've got. Certainly not very much to it. That's a bit of sticky backed foam. And there's a black disc there. So um, I think we'll take it apart, or at least certainly take the back off and see what we can find. Right, first thing we'll do is we'll take that off. I don't know if that will show. Yeah, you can just about see there's a little hole there which I assume the light would normally shine through. So let's try shining a torch on it. OK. That's a bit of a piercing beep. That's going right through me. See, there's actually a bit of a red glow in there. Okay, so it beeps. Well, that's going to be an interesting circuit to look at for somebody. Well, it looks interesting. But what can we do with it? I notice there's three wires go to the um, speaker. So I wonder if it also works as a um, microphone, because it seems to stop when I tap it. Right, I've bypassed the little button cells and connected it directly to an external battery supply just to make life easier for me. Um, it is quite a sensitive light detector. I've just made this little shroud to put over that LED so that I can establish whether the red LED has any impact on the performance. But it doesn't. It's purely the, the dark coloured photo um, detector that's actually doing the detection. So I'm wondering whether I can desolder that little red LED, put some extended wires on it and use it as eyes for a little squealing mouse. That The idea being Every time you shine a light on this little mouse that I'm going to make, it squeaks like it is now. That's my thought at the moment. What I've got to find out is whether I can desolder it without completely destroying the circuit board. 
Okay, that's a fairly delicate piece of soldering. If I just put the batteries back in again. So there we go. Got my LED there. I'm taking off the actual circuit. find another little red LED so I can have a pair of eyes. So I have to go and have a rummage through my spare parts box. Alright, a little bit more digging. I've found myself another little red LED. Unfortunately it's not a perfect match but it is red. So right that was a delicate bit of soldering but uh, we now have light detecting diode there and my two eyes so I should be able to stick this thing on my mouse's nose and two eyes and it squeaks this is a lot of work but I'm uh, just doing it for the fun of it I'm sure you could actually buy a mouse with a light detector on it that would squeak anyway. But uh, the purpose of the exercise is to hack something into something it wasn't designed for. So, let's make a mouse. Well, how are we going to make a mouse? I've just turned round and looked at my pile of rubbish left over from the last project. And I've got these bits of polystyrene tray left over from the pizza bases. And I was just thinking to myself, that piece there has the general shape of a mouse. OK, you need a bit of imagination to see it, but... Uh, Broad back, pointy nose, needs a tail, and it needs to be padded out a bit inside. But that will make a very simple mouse. I'm not going for high quality realism here, I'm just going for a bit of fun. So we'll see. Right, that's the basic shape coming together. I've just uh, built a little polystyrene box in there to house the batteries. So now I need to mount the, the squeaker and the eyes and the light detector and make a tail for it of some sort might put some feet on it, I'm not quite sure. Coming together, anyway. Okay, there we are, there's the finished article. Uh, let's see what we can show you. The entire body is all made out of polystyrene pizza base trays. Um, I've got the battery in there. I've got the beeper in there, see the wires I've used to extend the leads. So we've got our eyes on the front and the light sensor in the middle there. So if I shine a light directly on it. So there we go. That's a rather complicated way of making use of a reversing beeper, but uh, oh, that was quite fun in the end. Certainly making use of the bits and pieces, the polystyrene. That was uh, 
I enjoyed that. Probably not the most uh, most useful use for that beeper, and it did get rather complicated having to extend all the wires and that. But uh, but there we go. So that's bargain store challenge number three, I think, completed. A one pound beeper converted into a light detecting mouse, or at least one that flashes its eyes when you shine a torch on it. Good challenge, I think that was. And an interesting result. Hope you enjoyed it.